Hey everybody, it's Ron with Ron's Computer Videos. How's it going today? I wanted to take just a minute to talk about a new thing that was just released today. And by today, I mean the day that I'm making this video. Maybe not necessarily the day that you're watching it. I can't help it, that's how calendars work. This is actually a cool little device uh, that was released by MacFX. It is the MacFX Performer PDS 68030 Accelerator for the Apple Macintosh SE. It's a mouthful, but uh, there's actually quite a bit of performance in this little guy. Um, I wanted to take just a couple minutes and I wanted to uh, show uh, how to do the installation and maybe do uh, a few benchmarks and then come back and kind of give a, a kind of a wrap up and what my opinion is. Okay, so that said, let's go ahead and let's go over to the bench. Our test bench for the accelerator is going to be this uh, Macintosh SE inside the brand new SE mini case. Um, I'm also using the Mac PicoVid uh, to get VGA out of this machine. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's boot this up just as a stock machine, get some benchmarks to get an idea of what our before numbers look like. To get an idea of what the performance is like before we add the accelerator, let's go ahead and let's run speedometer 3.23 and see what the performance rating is. So as you can see, it says Macintosh SE, 68,000 microprocessor, no FPU, no MMU, four megs of RAM.
As you can see, that took a little bit of time. <laughs> but our final score ends up being basically a 1.0, which was what you would expect when compared to a Macintosh Classic. Before we put the accelerator in, let's maybe do a few small tasks that you might commonly do on this machine, just to get an idea of exactly how long that takes. First, let's go ahead and let's give Photoshop a try and see how long it takes to open up a picture. Took a second there to convert it to grayscale. Let's go ahead and let's try something with Stuff It Expander. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and let's pop the accelerator in and see what type of performance difference we can see. First things first, we need to install the control panel and system extension that the accelerator requires. Simply take the two files, drag them to your system folder. That's it. Now let's go ahead and shut down and install the accelerator. Keep your eye in the corner for a neat animation. We can make sure that the accelerator is working by taking a look at the control panel. And as you see here, we have the performer running at 16 megahertz. So the performance of a Macintosh 2 is a 1.0. Our average is just under that with the accelerator. The performance rating with all of the other things factored in is 2.461. And here's the machine comparison, but as you can tell, it's not really even a contest. The accelerator makes such huge differences in the performance of this machine. I am just blown away. Pretty snappy opening the file. Let's go ahead and convert that image to grayscale.
That's a pretty marked improvement compared to the base 68,000. Let's go ahead and let's try our step and benchmark again. That's considerably faster than before. So there you have it. Uh, I can't recommend this enough. Uh, I was really impressed with the performance difference. Um, again, probably a lot of this is also going to come down to what your use case is because it is entirely possible that you might purchase something like this thinking, oh gosh, my games are going to run faster or something. But I mean, you have to kind of take that on a case by case basis. I did a little bit of an experimentation playing Prince of Persia, kind of my favorite black and white Mac game. And I had some weird issues, but that's always been kind of a, a problem with accelerators for classic Macs, just because the sound controller hardware continues to run at the original speed, but then the processor and everything like that is accelerated. So you might have some weirdness, but again, if you pick it up, try those games, report that stuff back to the community, try those applications, report that too. And, uh, you know, help build kind of a little bit of a database of um, kind of best use things that you can do with it. But honestly, that's it for the moment. So I want to thank everybody for taking a few minutes out of their evenings to spend it with me. And as I always say, Apple II forever.